Well, hello there. Back on the scene, trekking up in the Cascades. This is July 1st, and it's really dark. I came in on the motorcycle with the skis. So I've got four days. This really sucked coming up here in the dark on this motorcycle with the skis. To top it off, it's the 4th of July weekend, which means everybody and their uncle and nephew is out here blowing things up. I stopped down the road and someone was shooting a gun and I actually heard the bullets going through the treetops. Kind of crazy. Tomorrow I'll be up into the wilderness and I'll be away from it all. <sighs> yeah. Mount Jefferson. Right up there. There's the bivy tent. It's not bad. I slept great last night. Well, the gunshots have started up. Oh, it's probably 10, 10 30. Well, here I am out on the trail, and motivation is just slow, man. I've got a hell of a climb to get up there, and uh, just trying to figure out timing and logistics for the next three nights. Well, I'm into the uh, snowpack. The trail is just down here. And uh, probably going to be buried under the snow any farther up. This creek here is the last water source for me before I climb up. That's what I'm going to do now, just trudge right on up diagonally this way. I might follow this water source up to where it's just a little trickle and then I'll load up instead of having to carry it up this hill. Look at that beautiful view. Mount Jefferson. And I am just about done for the day. Now I've been climbing. Oh, I probably climbed almost 2,000 feet, maybe 1,700 feet since I last checked in, almost straight up to the point where I was just counting 25 or 30 steps and then resting. Over here, the top of that little uh, peak there, Butte, is where I want to be. And I guess I can spend tomorrow night there. I'll just follow the ridge line up. Starting here. Right along there with the skis. This I'll probably traverse diagonally up that. And once I'm at the top there, it's an easy easy journey to the top. This right in here, I might find a place to set up. So, nice thing about that bivy, it's small, it can just squeeze right in. I stopped here because it would fit right here. No problem. But I think I want to put up that bug net, so I'll need a couple trees in front of the door. Well, I finally got the tent set up. And I'm pretty impressed with that fly, except for it doesn't cover the back corners. But that really just battens down tight. Got the mosquito net in front, really close to the full hatch of mosquitoes. They're uh, being blown 
into these trees. So they're hanging out all along the other side of these branches. Well, this view is incredible here. Look at that. Whole heck of a lot of snow left. First week of July. Look at this. Some big nasty holes in here. Yeah, I might get stuck in there. Could knock the whole wall down and go sliding down there. Beautiful scenery here. This must have burned last year. This whole big patch here. Yeah, it's pretty big. Who knows how far around that side it went. Some clouds building up here. Kind of interesting. I, I think they build up around these mountains where there's the snow evaporating. You know, I guess I got lucky with this dry spot here because, you know, there might be some in those trees, but if you look here, the snow just goes right over where the trees are. Enjoying some coffee and some oatmeal with apples. It was a little chilly last night. Thing is, this bivy tent doesn't completely close off the elements. It's just a screen. First layer. And uh, with the rain fly over the top, so there's like little spaces that the air comes through. Well, I've been going right along here. All I need to do is get to the top of that, and I don't know if I'm gonna traverse the bottom or go up that slope. Uh, I usually climb it, but it doesn't look like there's many rocks on the side. And if you get sliding down one of those cornices, you could just keep right on going into the rocks on the right. Uh, I went, I've been going along the ridge line and I just broke off here. Kind of slow going through these cornices. Uh, I started roughly down there. Been going about an hour. Hey, found a dry spot. Nice little spot to set up the tent here. Mount Jefferson. Right there. That's Jefferson Park down there. A whole lot of snow here. Yet at this time of the year, there's only that little dry spot I see there. We got the tent set up. It's a perfect place. Got a nice little place to sit and do my cooking. I've got uh, snow melting so far. In the time that I've set up the tent, I've melted about a liter of snow for drinking water. Last night was a little hard on my fuel supply for my stove. I had to melt quite a bit of snow last night and this morning, so we're gonna have a lot of uh, backup water cooking and drinking. Amazing, look at these clouds picking up. I put my backpack here to block the wind. The wind is coming this way. Nice, this, uh, this old stump here, they're gonna block the wind. And same with these rocks. I think tonight will be a little better. Stay warm. Here we are at the top of my run. A great view north.
So, I'm gonna go into uh, some action cam. It's my first run down without the pack. I'll probably crash. Not so fast yet. Whoop! Hit the mine. Supposed to go this way. Lots of bumps! Oh. 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 oh boy! Yeah, that was fun. Look at that. Yeah, all the way up there, man. Those bumps, those little drainage bumps you can see here, got a little rough. And right down there is some water, which I might just fill up. Nice control! Roll, baby. Woo. Man, what a run. That's what I came here for. Oh. I kicked up a lot of snow, but that, that run was just amazing. Almost crashed once. I was leaning too far forward and hit a soft spot. I knew this drainage was here. I didn't expect it to be uncovered. Usually I see right up there it drains over. Uh, I broke my water filter at the first water stop and I don't really have a choice now that's there's no even guarantee that that snow melt is not contaminated I just don't know which, don't know which is better this or the snow melt well I had another nice run morning. Very quiet. The winds died down. Uh, getting some bugs, a few mosquitoes, not many. I thought there would be a whole lot more with the wind stopped. The Pacific Crest Trail is just a few feet away. Just up in here. Very busy trail. My tent is right down there. It's 
It's a nice little spot. There we go. Slept really well last night. It was just a tiny bit chilly, but totally doable. So today, I'm gonna ski around. Well, I had a mishap here. Started to go down, and right there I crashed and lost my ski. And it went all the way down around the corner. And luckily, stopped in a clump of trees. But uh, I had to slide all the way down on one ski on my butt. And my pants are all wet, and my hand is numb. Uh, 4th of July, the chaos magnet. Whoa, I farted. Back at camp, and I guess the rest of my day has been decided for me. We've got a malfunction with the ski. The snow's just getting crunched in here and it's gonna rip that right up and I... Guess I don't wanna make it any worse. And I don't wanna lose any of that plastic cause I can hopefully glue it back down. So, we're gonna pack up. Head over that ridge. And go back down off of the snow and basically camp in the woods. Well, there's a traverse. Maybe not for the record book, but man, that was hard. You can probably see my tracks. There. All along there. Came from right in there. And I switched it a couple times down through there. But, uh, there were a couple steep spots. I think there was one here. You gotta remember, if you slip and fall, you gotta imagine how far you'll slide. And that right there, I think, was the farthest. And just down here, there's some rocks. If uh, I would have slid down this, could have potentially landed on rocks. And uh, just a little bit more on the snow. There's the patch where I camped on, and I'll just go diagonally down along the edge of the snow until I find the trail. Well, I just uh, came through about a half mile, maybe more, of stuff like this. There's a creek down there, and the uh, alders were above my head. I got a lucky line right across the creek. Uh, came from up there, pretty much just followed the edge of the snow down and this is the trail. I was getting a little worried because the edge of the slope is right here. After this little bit more, it just drops down to the valley. But I knew that I didn't cross the trail, so I just kept going. It's not uh, maybe three quarters of a mile to my destination. Be happy about that. Well, there it is. I'm all set up. Got the mosquito net in effect. Uh, this will be nice. I'm going to put down a, a ground tarp there and I'll be able to sit outside. This is one of my favorite places to camp. I've camped here a few times. There's a creek just through the woods over there. And the trail's real close, just in between the creek and my tent. It was a great trip, great trip. I've uh, finished four backpack ski trips so far this year. First was Mount Adams, then Three Sisters, then the 
east side of Mount Hood, and then uh, this trip Mount Jefferson. Bye bye bugs. This thing rocks. Packs down really small and light. But I'll tell you what, it's not even the full hatch. And I'm totally happy. These earlier bites from uh, two days ago really were itching this morning. Well, I'm wrapping things up. Gonna head home a couple miles down the trail to the motorcycle. Very peaceful night. Uh, last night, just before dark, I believe I had an owl land up on one of these branches. Big wings flapping. I was in my tent reading with the light. I believe it was attracted to the light. And uh, flew away about 20 minutes later. Kind of cool. So, uh, Ending a great trip here on Mount Jefferson. Well, that guy, <laughs> along with another one just like it, he was in my water filter bag. The other one, I, and luckily I found, but he took a ride. He was in my backpack for a couple miles and luckily he didn't get squashed. Anyway, we're back at the trailhead.